Hello lettering friend, I'm Sarah from Inside Insights and this is my completed hand lettering journal. I am so excited to share this with you. This is my Archer and Olive journal. I have been loving it. Really quick side note, I decided I needed to decorate this front page. So while I'm doing that, I just want to explain what a hand lettering journal is and why you might want to start one for yourself. There are all different types of journals. This could be called a creative journal, an art journal, a junk journal. Some people have a bullet journal that have pages like mine. A hand lettering journal is basically just a notebook filled with my hand lettering. I found that of all the different types of journaling, a hand lettering journal works best for me because it's a way for me to build a creative practice with my hand lettering. It's a great way to see my progress and kind of hold my creativity inside a little book. I get so inspired looking back through my journal, like it's my own personal Pinterest. And at the end of the day, I want to hand letter. I want to express myself. I want to be creative. I want to work through strong emotions, whether they're good or bad. I want to use up my pens and my craft stash that I've hoarded over the years. I want to experiment with colors. I want to try new things. A hand lettering journal checks off all of those boxes. And most importantly, hand lettering helps me deal with my life and show up as the best version of me. A hand lettering journal is a tangible way to do that. So if that sounds good to you, join me in starting your own hand lettering journal and let this video be a good inspiration to start. Let's get into it. So the first page I always leave blank in a journal and I just added these pictures I cut out of a random journal I did in 2019. So I leave it blank because it's really daunting to start a page and so I added that in later. And same with this one. This was the first I was testing it out. I added some paper and then these quotes also from 2020 when I first got this. This one had a different design in the back and I painted over it with some acrylic paint and I really love this look. I love that I can actually paint a page in the Art Journal of Journal. And then this is with my dot markers and then I was just experimenting with more acrylic paint and more dot markers. You know, I feel like starting a journal always takes a few pages to get into it and get a feel for the new journal. You're really good at doing scary things, doing that quote over again. You have so much good coming for you. I was testing out some pens. These are the good old days. And then here is when December 26th, 2021. This is when I really started using this book. This was just random things before. And so I was reading this book, The Creative Cure, and I had so many good quotes from it. Please stop waiting for an invitation to be yourself. Rediscover the joy of creating and begin to fall in love with life again. Every human being is creative. Again, from that book, The Creative Cure. I highly recommend that book. Same. I am creative. I am an artist. I am creating my life. I was playing around with different Google fonts. And then this one, when I watched Encanto and I loved it, The Miracle is You with some butterflies. And then for January, I wanted to try doing this little cutout that I had seen. So I set it all up, it took me forever. I loved this border that I made. And then I was starting to try doing a well done list to remember and an affirmation every day. And then I realized that I didn't want to be writing it in this book every day. And so I started doing it on my Notion. And instead, I just filled these up with other pieces that I had done. I just glued them in here. This was from my monthly challenges. You can sign up for those in the lettering library. For these, I'm using the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. I love these colors and the brush pens. They're amazing. And this one was really fun to make, took me a long time. The life you want is the one where you get to live every moment as you, broken pieces and all. Just coming to terms with how my life isn't exactly what I wanted it, but learning that actually this is the life that I wanted just to be able to live as me, even though sometimes certain things feel broken. 
These quotes again are from The Creative Cure. The truth is that the most creative thing you'll ever do is become yourself. Comparison has no place in the particular art form of being you. And then this one was a really random page, just writing things out. I was having so many thoughts as I was reading The Creative Cure. So it looks different from my regular. And then here's the alphabet. Once again, from that book, creativity is the act of turning imagination into reality. And then I was testing out the calligraph pens from Archer and Olive. And here, prioritize life over social media. This was that I thought that I had, and then I did it full later, it'll come. The quote. And <laughs> these are also from The Creative Cure. You are an artist and your life is your unfolding, ever-changing masterpiece. Creative practices heal us in ways that nothing else can. And then here was an idea that I had just to list out some things. And I made a video about this with my Instagram detox. So I made a list of things that I had learned and I had written out a bunch of things while I was doing my 30 days away from Instagram. And what's crazy, so it is August right now and I haven't been on Instagram since like March. <laughs> It's really crazy. Uh, and then five things I do love about Instagram because there really are amazing things about Instagram. It's just, I have to pick and choose if I can handle <laughs> the hard things about it to be able to get the good things. And then here was that page, let's prioritize life over social media. That is what I've been trying to do. I still want to share my lettering with you. I just don't want to give up my life to Instagram. And then here, I just wanted to fill the page with color and it's from the book again, The Creative Cure. Think of building a beloved habitat for your inner creative self. And then this was a page that I had painted years ago actually with just some gold paint and I thought one day I'm gonna use it and then I just never have. And so I decided to just do this really simple spread. This would make a pretty cover page for a month and then here moving into February thanks for what you do and how you do it that was a comment that somebody had emailed me and I just loved it so much and then here was the February challenge how can I make this more fun so now we have the basic strokes I welcome peace into my life today I just love that you can use the basic strokes and practicing your lettering to create beautiful things. You don't have to be an expert. You can be practicing and creating beautiful things at the same time. And then practicing faux calligraphy here. I added some washi tape. Gentle reminder, you're doing enough. And then the alphabet in beads. I love my little bead bracelets. So I was playing with that. And then this is with my Karen markers. It's okay not to make the most of every chunk of time. This is from the book, The Comfort Book by Matt Haig. So that is one way to find really good quote ideas. Just read inspiring books. This one says, love is not something you deserve only if you reach a goal. And then this one, I had these fun stickers. It is a happy talent to know how to play. I was just playing with stickers and two, oh, this was February 22nd, 2022 at 2.22 PM. So I did a bunch of styles of two. And then here I was just using some old pieces that I had and just gluing them in. And then this one was something I recreated from my past. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. And this, I was using my stencil that I have. Here I used the stencil for March. Here's the March challenge, always finding rainbows. And then this was my thoughts on burnout today. I'm sad for all that burnout took from me. Also, burnout helped me find my voice that needed to be heard. So 2021, I went through 
extreme burnout and coming out of that you realize that it's something that changes you forever and I feel like I lost so much time of things that I wanted to create and things that I just wanted to love about myself but burnout uh, took them from me and at the same time because I went through that burnout it helped me to take care of myself better it helped me to find my hand lettering journal helped me to find a voice that needed to be heard and then here were little printables that I created and they are in the lettering library you can print them out I just liked having something to fill in here is some new washi tape that I bought from Archer and Olive and it's so pretty and then here slow and steady wins the race this is doing blocks and this was the last page that I had to fill in I know it's not the last page of my journal but I last week I posted this video and I did a tutorial for every one of these so if that sounds fun to you definitely check out that video this was another one where I was making a list seven ways to find quotes for your journal and then this one was a quote for our journal of success is liking what you do colors are the smiles of nature this was a really sweet card that i got from susan she is in my intentional lettering for beginners course and i just have enjoyed so much getting to know the people there and seeing all of their lettering and she sent me some pins and it was the best so i had to include this in my journal and then this one today i'm feeling too much to handle sometimes i just letter whatever i'm feeling because i have a lot of emotions and then this one loving ourselves works miracles in our lives oh this one is so much fun finding rainbows with i did watercolor rainbow stripes and then these are little fruit pieces that I found at Michael's like near the glitter and I just think they are the cutest and then this one I was experimenting doing collages so I had some stickers I had an envelope and a card and I cut them up and placed them however oh and here's a little fortune cookie And then this one, this is something I had printed out a long time ago and I finally glued it in. And then this one, when you release expectations, you are free to enjoy things for what they are instead of what you think they should be. I painted it with acrylic paint. And then this is when I started doing my mini journals. So when you're worried, read this. What's yours will find you, let it go let life happen you only need to take the next step leave some room in your heart for the unimaginable and i love these mini journals i have made so many now if you want to learn how to do them yourself i have a free mini course you'll learn to make the little journal and practice your hand lettering basics at the same time all great changes are preceded by chaos <laughs> feeling some chaos in my life and thinking hey great changes are coming and then this one i am letting go of being good at everything and learning how to be good at being me i am an overachiever and sometimes that isn't always a good thing and then this was just thoughts that i wrote out with my glass pen you're doing enough your life is on track you can absolutely do this a bad day doesn't mean a bad life just thoughts when everything seems so hard and then just to like write it out and validate myself like hey everything's okay <laughs> you're doing okay just know it doesn't have to be okay right now even though you want it to be and then this one was really fun i did some watercolor and then i added some stickers and i just wrote my little quote right here you don't have to be good at something to enjoy it and it was this kind of idea of branching out in my art and trying new things and loving it but not feeling like i'm the master of it but i can still enjoy it this was a cute card that i got from my niece this is were some printables that i made pens are my friends so starting in april i made my rainbow journal kit 
and it has all of these quotes to give you ideas and then a font idea and then all of these printables and I was experimenting with how to fill up my journal using these printables and I really, really loved it. Five songs that make me happy and then I added those songs and I wrote some of the quotes from Encanto from songs that I love writing down cute things my toddler says and I just love that it has this theme because it was the kit that I used today I am loved calm grateful strong and then I love these borders to get started with something when I don't know what to do rainbows in my life always finding rainbows and then I used my little mini journal style. Rainbows have a way of making the world seem right. And I tried this accordion. Count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. The brightest rainbows come after the darkest storms. You are a rainbow of possibility. Your true colors are beautiful like a rainbow. So the whole theme of this month was rainbows. There may be a rainbow waiting for you. This, I was experimenting the colors from the Archer and Olive self-care and love box. And then these little sticky notes that were in my kit, you get to choose, you are on the right path. And then this was a collage that I did. I have been really loving getting into collages again. You don't have to fit in a box. And I cut out all of these pictures and glued them on here. I have another journal that is starting to be just collages. So I'll share a video on that soon. And then at the end, this was from my daughter's gymnastics. And here, I just like to thank my journal because it's always such a happy place and helps me feel so good. <laughs> and I love the cute little tabs that I have in this journal to mark each of the months. And just so you know, after May, everything got a little crazy in my life since we moved, but I have started using my square journal from Archer and Olive. It's kind of fun to try the square size, so I will have to definitely share more once I fill it up and let you know what I think about the square size. And of course, I'll have to do a full flip through when I finish this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am so grateful that you're here and joining me. I will see you next time.